video we're going to take a look at a legal problem called duplicate emails. So here you can see on the left we have a person table and the person table we have two columns. So we have ID, right? we have an email and uh, the goal for this problem is we want to basically query right, all the duplicate emails that we have inside of our database or inside of our uh, person table. right? So return the result table in any order. Um, the query result format is in the following example. right? So you can see we have an input a person table right and then you can see that this email right here appeared twice right is a duplicate email so in this case we have to uh, return that right in this case we have to you know return that in our output um, so how do we do this how do we solve this problem so so for this problem my thought process you know was that we first need to keep track of the, the frequency for each email right so how do we know if it's duplicate? Well, we can basically first check of each email's frequency. For example, this email has appeared twice. This email appeared once, right? And then what we can do is we can basically select emails, right? Select the emails that has more than one in frequency, right? So you can see that this email has more than one frequency and this one doesn't, right? So maybe we can have like this, this one is email, right? And then we have the frequency, right? So in this case, how do we do this? Well, so what we can do is that we can basically group by the email, right? Problem, you can see that inside of our query, right? So we basically selecting the email, that's what we want, from, and you can see we have a subquery. So first, what we're trying to do here is we basically trying to, you know, keep track of, like we want to create this frequency table, which we keep track of the frequency for each email, right? So you can see we're grouping by the email column, and then we also have, you know, the email, right? In this case, you can see we have email right here from the person table, and we group by email, and then we re are we naming this table, or in this case, the data as frequency, and then we're basically selecting email from this frequency, where frequency dot c, right, or I should say the count, is greater than one, right? If it's greater than one, then we know that it's duplicate, right? Because it has more than one frequency inside of our table. Another way we can solve this problem is we can use a halving condition. So basically you can see here that we can use halving to uh, you know to basically add a condition to a group by right. So you can see here because for where clause we cannot use a aggregation function right count is considered as aggregation function so we cannot use that. So what we can do instead is we can basically use having instead of where clause. So we basically select an email from person table, right? We group by the email, and then we basically say that I want to, you know, um, select email that have email that has a, you know, uh, has a frequency that is greater than one, right? Pretty much. So you can see that 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 approach is most common or more common uh, used way to add condition to a group by function.